Um, hi everyone. So I hope clear naman dumarating sa inyo yung audio. Medyo nang ka-problem lang tayo with uh, the chat box again. Um, it looks like hindi talaga stable yung chat box natin for Facebook. That's why I actually preferred um, streaming on YouTube. However, I understand that um, Facebook seems to be more um, accessible to you guys. So, so stick na lang muna tayo doon. Um, forg- forgive me lang kung hindi nag- nag-update on time yung uh, supposedly chat box natin. Apparently, um, Facebook has all the support for gaming content, pero pagdating sa educational content, hindi pa sila <laughs> ganun ka updated. So, kung kung stream ako ng Mobile Legends, malamang nakikita ko yung chat nyo, pero hindi siya nag-work pag uh, Facebook Live. Anyway, um, welcome sa stream. Um, welcome sa lesson natin today. So, um, This is actually a requested um, topic from one of you guys, so one of the people who were responded dun sa isang post ko. If you haven't followed the, the page yet, you can follow it, Coach Hobby. Diyan naman yung handle, so madali lang siya hanapin. And if kung nakarating kayo dito, probably uh, you, all, you also know kung ano yung page natin. So anyway, pakilala ako ng konti sa mga bagong nakatune in. Um, hindi ako um, academically trained for... for this software or for MS Excel, what I have, the little that I know, is eno- was enough to get me where I am. So, uh, short kwento lang na para to open things up. I actually graduated in a uh, BS Accountancy yung course ko. However, a part of me knew, or actually I really outright the no naman, na yung current position ko sa work, I didn't get it because magaling ako sa accounting. It's more of, um, I had another skill um, sa ilalim ng layer na meron akong degree in accounting. It was because of Excel. So, um, if you have been tuning into the page, you've seen siguro yung isa ma-post ko na parang a lot of companies are looking for people who are skilled. Uh, hindi na so much sa academic achievement, especially now that we're migrating to A new norm nga na it's all about skills and interaction, hindi na tayo dun sa may academic na breach. Although it's still very useful, at I'm saying, if you, if you have no means to reach that or to attain that, why not um, learn yung mga skills na freely naman na ibibigay? So, yun nga, that's why I'm here. I'm not the expert naman. So, you are free to also interact. That's why I'm opening this Uh, floor para if you have any other like suggestions if you want to, to call me out feel free lang sa comment section hindi naman ako lang yung way ko lang yun yung tama so hindi naman to my way or the highway anyway so well, tonight um this is uh this actually is a response to another request so ni request to the Melanie Montajes so she said ang isa sa topic doubt that she wants to learn is the different conditions and um na second demotion siya ni Mayel Binyas Manantan. Sabi niya, yes po, different conditions. So, the understanding ko ng conditions ngayon, so, i- hindi to yung conditional formatting. Um, it, that's another lesson for another uh, time. I will focus on the conditions natin within the cell or yung formulas natin. And, ang focus natin today will be the if formula. So, sa if formula kasi in Excel, if you use that formula, you can actually... output another data that um, will appear depending on the condition that you have set. So, kaya siya tetao na conditional na formula. Parang, sa buhay lang din. So, if, if and then siya. So, kunyari, if mahal mo, then gagawin mo lahat para sa kanya. Kunyari, ganun yung statement. So, yung condition is, dapat mahal mo muna siya bago mo gawin lahat para sa kanya. So, if and then. So, cause, cause and effect. So, ganun din siya sa Excel. So, ipakita ko na sa inyo yung formula and then we'll go to Excel and then I'll try to um, walk you through it. Pero, may concept kasi behind it and I would have to explain it shortly then. So, ito yung formula niya. So, it's a formula na if and then the first part, so sa, sa Excel lingo nga natin, so sa syntax ng Excel, when you use a formula and then you open a parenthesis, magkakaroon siya ng part sa loob, which is div- um, subdivided by your comma. So, yung first part ng if na formula nyo would be the condition. Ano yung dapat ma-fulfill para sa, sa cell na yon. So, 
first part will be your condition. The second part after nung comma is the output if the condition that you have set was met. Okay? So, yun yung second part. And then the third part would be what will appear if the condition that you have set, there's a first part, was not met. So, anything na hindi nag-meet nung specific condition mo, ang i-output niya yung sa third. So, three parts siya lagi. Okay? So, yun yung, yun yung how it works uh, sa syntax or sa meaning niya dun sa within Excel. However, I will have to discuss briefly itong concept natin. Kasi conceptually, um, parang teacher, no? sino nakakaalam ng Venn diagram? So, yung Venn diagram, I think si Laika has a discussion on that. I will later on comment below sa comment section nito pagka na-render na siya yung lesson niya about Venn diagram. It's a better um, explanation of things. Pero just for the sake of Excel, I would give you a short ex uh, explanation. If you don't know Laika, Laika, she's my sister. She's a uh, creator talaga, and she focuses on education, especially for test-taking. So, kasama din kasi sa test yung Venn diagram. So, meron na siya content na hindi ko na yun gagalawin. Anyway, lagay ko lang yung um, link doon sa comment section. So, para sa basic application natin sa Excel, what if you are a teacher, and then meron kang grading sheet, and then meron kang um, column to solve for the averages, and then you want to hit yung, you want to show your remark. Diba sa remarks merong pass or fail? Na usually nilalagay, or at least ganun, nung 90s and 2000s, nung nag-aaral pa ako. Hindi ko alam ngayon kung may ganun pa. Pero basically, pag 75 and above, meron, merong pass, tapos pag uh, hindi umabos 75, fail yung nakalagay. So, kunyari, yun yung scenario natin. And that's what we're gonna try to fix, or gonna try to walk you through. So, explain ko lang kung ano yung logic doon. Sa logic muna tayo. Logically, um, kung lahat ng, lahat ng pwedeng value sa cell na, na pinapertain mo is all the grades. So, lahat ng numbers, letters, whatever, nandun siya. Pwede mo siyang i-link doon. Pero, use the same concept as a Venn diagram. Lahat ng values na yun, yun yung, yung whole white bar na yan. But, we want Excel to show pass only if 75 and above siya and fail pag hindi siya 75 and above. So, ang gagamitin nating formula would be this. Okay? Yung, kung, kung yung white na yon or yung, yung kabuuan ng rectangle na yon is all the values, meron kasing part doon na greater than 75. Diba? Meron part na less than 75. So, yung first line dyan sa taas, yun yung, yun yung tamang formula na if the value of the cell is less than 75, ang isyo niya is fail. Kapag hindi naman, ang isyo niya is pass. Okay, i-walk through ko kayo dun sa formula yan. So, if, and then open, and then yung cell, so i-click natin or i-select natin kung anong cell yung, yung pepertain niya, and then less than 75. So, yung less than 75, yun yung itatype natin. Kasi logically, um, alam naman natin yung greater than or less than, ba? So, yung greater than, kung sa nakaharap yung alligator, yun yung mas malaking number. Yung nasabi sa akin ng teacher ko nung, nung bata ako. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, anything na less than 75, yun nandito sa gilid. So, ibig sabihin, if yung cell, yung value ng cell is less than 75, I should show you is fail. Again, I would say this, this is a recurring um, point sa lahat ng mga videos natin. Anything enclosed in double quotations, um, Excel treats as text. So, ibig sabihin, um, ang output ni Excel, ang fill out niya the cell na nilagyan niya ng formula na to, is a text word na saying fail. Okay? If you don't put quotations kasi, Excel will um, treat that, that, um, that part like it is a formula, which would not work. Kasi, ang isipin niya yung F is maybe um, a column somewhere in your file or something like that. Hindi pag-iisipan niya yon na i-compute. So, okay, you have to put in quotations if you want it to output a text. Okay? Now, if you want it to compute, kunyari, if cell is less than 75, 75 times 1, wag natin lalagyan ng quotation. Okay? Yun lang yun. And the next part is pass. Ngayon, kung baliktad naman, if I use, if cell is greater than 75, lalabas yung pass, 
And if not, lalabas yung fail, would it still work? Sige nga, um, do you think it will work or not? Tiktok, tiktok. <laughs> Gawin okay ng time. Okay. Truth is, the second um, type of formula yung nasa baba would not work. Okay? It will not work. And uh, there's a reason why. It's because, if you look at it, ito yung medyo uh, critical thinking natin dapat when we make formulas, no? If we use, if cell is greater than 75 pass, hindi masasama yung 75. Kasi it has to be greater than 75 for it for Excel to determine it as passing. Pero hindi naman yung totoo. Nag-work yun dun sa less than 75 kasi anything less than 75 is really failing. Pero pag ginamit mo yung greater than 75, you have to include 75. That is why you have to key in yung equal sign kasunod ng greater. Kasi ang ibig sabihin niya, it's telling Excel greater than or equal to 75. So if it's greater than or equal to 75, including the line which is actually 75, yung threshold natin, it will key in the correct um, remark which is pass or fail. So to show you that, um, punta muna tayo sa Excel para, para makita nyo. Okay? Wait lang guys ah. Okay. Sige. Dito tayo sa Excel. So, for example, etong meron kang class grades like this. First quarter, second, third, fourth quarter. Um, so, yan yung, yan yung grades natin. And then you have the, uh, the average. So, ito yung computed average niya. So, you want here sa rating na column lumabas yung either pass or fail. So, I will key in equals if opening. So, again, I formula to, for a clearer view, meron yan sa ilalim. Yun yung same na nasa formula bar natin sa taas. I just want to give you a better view kasi I know na yung iba gumagamit ng mobile devices. Um, so, if, opening parenthesis, so I will select yung average na column kasi itong I, um, I2, yan yung pinanggagalingan natin ng data. So, I want it to show, kunyari, sample lang, less than 75, if it's less than 75, comma, it should show fail. Pero pag hindi siya less than 75, which means 75 and up siya, I will say pass. And then close it in parentheses. So tama siya, di ba? Kasi yung 75 niya is still pass. Now, yung sinabi ko kanina, going back to my demo, kapag binaligtad natin to, if I2 is greater than 75, at nilagay natin yung pass, this will fail. Kasi, tinan nyo, 75 yung average niya, pero fail yung nakalagay kasi hindi na-include yung 75. But, if I key in the equal sign after the greater than, it's saying, it, if greater than or equal to 75, it will say pass. So, you can choose to either approach it dun sa negative side or sa positive side. Pero, pag positive side, dapat kasama yung equals para ma-include lahat. So, this formula will then apply to all. Yan, kasi walang, walang less than 75. Ganda naman spreadsheet natin. Patalino nilang lahat. Baba natin ng konti yung grades para lang maniwala kayo na hindi naman ako nag i ng ating lesson. So, lagay natin dito. Yan. So, dahil ito ay less than 75, fail na siya. Okay? Ngayon. If you want um if you want the the formula to show something other than pass or fail you can do so you can just edit it here kunyari example um in, kapag fail siya gusto ko magcompute siya ng how many points siya below 75 so instead na fail i will just replace this and i will say 75 minus the average. Ibig sabihin, gusto kong i-show niya kung ano yung points, kung gano'n siya kalayo from the katotohanan na papasa siya. So, kapag 75 and up, it will still say pass. Pero pag uh, hindi, it will compute 75 minus etong 71.75. So, it's showing 3.25. So, it, you, it can happen. You can do that either dun sa, either of the two, dun sa dalawa. Ngayon, Um, may, misan, kung, kung accountant bigay, nakaka-encounter kayo ng mahabang-mahabang maraming if and then, 
I will talk about that in another video para mas medyo mas step up. I don't want to impose all in one setting. Pero ang thing lang doon is you have to remember going back to our Venn diagram. Ang thing kasi doon or ang pinaka short explanation is this. You can say kunyari um anything 75 and higher is a pass. Okay? So it will say pass. But kunyari if I can add it here as yung ating second um, condition not met na, na formula. Pero kung kunyari, if this is greater than 70, I will say needs improvement. Ngayon, kung hindi siya greater than 70, or hindi siya 70 to 74.99999, I would say fail. And I say, and, and I close that. Ayan. So, dahil 71.75 siya, it's, instead of saying failed, it's saying needs improvement. Okay? So, big sabihin lang nun, using the same um, same logic or formulas na ginagamit natin sa MDAS, di ba, when we use parentheses, is the same thing. You can actually um, re, you can actually multiply it. Parang ulit-ulitin mo siya until you get to it. So, kung meron kang maraming maraming iba-ibang Rating, kung kunyari greater than 80, satisfactory, ganyan, ganyan. Pwede mo siyang gamitin the same formula only only within the parentheses. But you have to remember that if you are going to do that, you have to either work from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top. Kasi nga, um, Excel also calculates it na parang, na parang ito, PEMDAS. So, parentheses to left to right or yung inner, yung pinaka-inner sa parenthesis. You have to take note of that. So, I will um, walk you through that in, in our next session, and I will also talk about the end, or yung mga ganun. So, kasama rin yun sa conditions. Kasi nga, this is a little bit more complex kasi it's uh, about logic. Hindi siya tukol sa formula. Okay, balik ko muna kayo. Usap muna tayo ng very slight. Okay. Honestly, guys, People may mistake Excel as something na parang uh, memorization, na parang kailangan memorize mo lahat ng formula, ganyan, ganyan. I have to be honest with you guys, there are formulas na hindi ko na-discover, pero using the, the bare um, formulas that I know, I can achieve the same result. Hindi mo kailangan ng super complex na mga formulas. And the truth is, Excel in its, all, in its many versions, nag-add lang din sila ng mga ibang mga formulas. Pero ang pinaka-core ng Excel is logic. So, you have to analyze yung data mo. Or you analyze how Excel or how your your machine will calculate it para ma-formulate nyo yung formulas ninyo. Okay? So, you have to approach it like that. Um, do not be frustrated kapag uh, feeling mo hindi nag-work yung formula. Kasi hindi naman ang point nito is hindi mo na kailangan mag-isip. Hindi ganun ng Excel. Ang hindi ganun ng automation. Anything na automated, you still have to look at it. You still have to audit it and check yung formula mo. It's just that, tinatanggal na lang yung anything na repetitive. For example, meron ko ng spreadsheet, katulad ng spreadsheet na ginamit natin. Hindi ibig sabihin na hindi mo siya pag-iisipan dahil nandun na siya. Hindi. You're just saying na kung meron ka 200 students, you don't have to compute it one by one per line. That is automation. It's making the redundant things faster. So, yun lang yun. Huwag kayo matakot, hindi tayo mawala ng trabaho kasi... As long as may kailangan i-analyze, meron kailangan taong mag-analyze niyan. Always go in, and kunyari may spreadsheet ako ganun, minamodify ko yung mga values just to make sure. So, maglalagay ako ng 74.9, maglalagay ako ng 75.1, just to verify kung tama ito yung formula natin. So, sige, kunyari, balikan natin ng konti yung, yung, yung worksheet natin. So, what do I usually do? So, usually, pag meron ako formula ng ganito, kung meron akong binigyan binigyan ako spreadsheet na aayusin ko, I usually clone it muna. So, nagka-copy ako para hindi ko nagagalaw yung original data. Tapos, doon ako naggagawa ng formula and then, tinatranspose ko na, nililipat ko na lang. So, what I do here, kunyari, ganyan, usually, lalagyan ko siya ng 74.9 kasi yung threshold eh, di ba? So, oh, 74.9. So, hindi yun nilagay na pass. Then, nilagay ko 75, pass. Nilagay ko 75.1, pass. So, tama siya. Okay? Ngayon, kung lalagyan ko rin siya ng Diba, ang category natin is greater than 70 needs improvement. Diba? So, lalagay ko rin yung 
yung para lumabas yung fail. So, ang threshold nun is 70. So, lalagay ko naman 69.9. So, fail na yung lumabas. Pero pag nilagay ko 70, ah, hindi, ah, sorry, hindi ko pala nalagyan ng equals to. So, greater than or equals. Yeah. Okay. So, like 70 means improvement. Yun. Diba? So, nakatch ko lang siya na hindi siya nalagyan ng equal sign dahil pinaglaruan ko yung threshold. Dahil nakita ko na, oh, nilagay ko 70 pero nilagay niya pass. So, that is how we check ourselves. So, you have to also check your, yourself kasi nga, again, you're not using formulas just to flex or just to say na, oh, inautomate ko yan. Hindi. You have to make sure na yung quality pa rin ng data mo is tama. And that, that involves self-checking. So, kung ano yung thresholds, paglaruan yung thresholds, minus 1, minus plus 1, minus 0.1, plus 0.1, and that is how you verify it. Okay? Sige. So, that's your, that's our lesson for this Saturday. Um, Tomorrow, I will be making another lesson, yung follow-up natin dito sa conditions. So, ayoko na siyang i-push pa further next week kasi sobrang related naman siya. And total, naka-ECQ naman tayo. Wala naman tayong ganap ng weekends. Bakit hindi natin lubusin? So, tomorrow by 8.30, I'll see you again. And, um, yun, hang out tayo. Ngayon, um, I hope you learned something new and I hope this helps you be a better person today than you were yesterday. Okay. Sige. So, just to wind up. Oops, sorry. Ayan. Sige. Um, shout out muna tayo. So, sumagot pala si Carl Maston kanina. Sabi, mabagsak daw ang lahat from 75.1 patas. If walang equals. So, pag walang equals, um, actually, pass pa rin yung sasabihin niya. Pero pag, pero pag 75 flat, yun yung wala siyang, magsasabi siya ng fail. Okay? Tapos, hi pala sa mga workmates ko nanonood. So, apparently, nanonood sila. So, yan. So, thank you again dun sa nag, um, nag-suggest nung topic natin. I hope you reach out and feel free to reach out and suggest lang kayo ng topic kung may gusto kayo pag-usapan. So, sige, batian muna tayo. So, hello kay Ruby. Coach Laika, hello po. Um, Gail. Ate Norsi, thank you po. Ate Cecil. Titita Shai, nanonood. Taoti, hello. Si Louie nanonood. Um, hi, mag-stream ulit tayo. <laughs> Laro ulit tayo na ML. And then, Angela, hello. Um, thank you for watching. So, again, thank you for for joining me. I really love to um, interact with you guys. And uh, salamat sa pagsama. Yun. So... End ko na ba? <laughs> so, end ko na yung video. By the way, um, I will repost the whole, yung, yung gitna lang, yung part lang ng lesson, my, minus the intro para maikli lang. I will repost that on our YouTube account. So, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel, Coach Hobby. Yun din, yun, kung paano siya spinel out, ganun lang siya. And um, you can check out yung iba pa nating content doon. Meron na tayong playlist for the Excel videos kasi medyo chopsu yung content natin doon. So, you can just subscribe there. I will be adding this content there. Uh, last time, I, I nag-live tayo doon sa YouTube, hindi dito sa Facebook. Kasi mas okay sana yung interaction ng chat box doon. However, mas maganda yung mas reception natin dito sa Facebook. So, moving on. Facebook tayo and then I will repost sa YouTube. If you want gaming, uh, ibang page yun. So, <laughs> alam ni Louie yun. So, see you na lang doon. Hindi ko ihahalo dito. Anyway, uh, kung meron kayong topic, just feel free to comment and then send me a message. And thank you for joining and I hope um, tuloy-tuloy lang tayo. Um, hindi siya ganun ka-complex. Huwag kayong ma-overwhelm. Kasi ang end result dito, honestly guys, I just really want to be able to share to you guys kung ano yung, yung mga formulas na talagang ginagamit and actually necessary for you guys to say na, oh, I possess advanced Excel skills. So, that's why I skip, actually try to, as much as possible, skip over yung mga complex muna tayo na formulas kasi I want to focus on yung mga key um, na hinahanap talaga ng mga employers as far as I'm concerned. Okay? Uh, thank you guys and uh, stay safe kung nasa man kayo sa mga bahay ninyo. So, uh, kung nasa man kayo sa mga bahay ninyo kasi probably nasa bahay ninyo kayo un unless frontliner kayo. And, uh, yun. Uh, tapusin ko muna yung, yung video natin and God bless.